Hello, my name is Alan Kurtlink. I'm a certified FileMaker developer and FileMaker authorized trainer with Skeleton Key. This video is the second in my series on using the script debugger tool that comes with FileMaker Pro Advanced. In this video, I'll show you how you can use script debugger to help find errors in your scripts and test how your scripts will work for users who don't have full access to your database. If I know one of my scripts has an error in it, but I'm not sure where it's occurring, I could step through it line by line to find it, but depending on the length of the script, that could take a while. Instead, I can use the pause on error feature in script debugger to automatically alert me when the error occurs. To turn this on, I just check the pause on error box and close the script debugger window. Now, script debugger will stay hidden until it encounters an error. When I run my problem script, I see where the error occurred and what the error code was. If you're not sure what the error code refers to, you can click on it and Script Debugger will open the Help Viewer and take you to the error code reference. This problem doesn't seem too serious, so I think I'll fix it later. I want to make sure I don't lose track of this, though, so I'm going to set a breakpoint on this line by clicking in the margin to the left of the script step. When I'm playing through this script with the debugger open in the future, it will pause at this breakpoint to remind me I need to fix this. The breakpoint will also show up as a red arrow next to this line in the Edit Script window. From time to time, you may want to test a script to see how it works when you're not logged in with full access. Let's say you've just created the Contact List Report script, and you want to make sure it works for a normal user. Using Script Debugger's Authorize feature, you can be logged in as a normal user and still get full access to running scripts. To demonstrate this, I'm going to close my file and log back in with an account that only has data entry privileges. I don't need to step through this script line by line, so before I launch it, I'm going to close Script Debugger. Now I'm going to run the contact list report. Everything looks good. The script worked as expected, but now that I see it in action, I think I'd like to give the user the option of printing the report after they viewed it. I'm going to run the script again, but this time when the script pauses, I'm going to go to the Tools menu and open Script Debugger. When it opens, you'll notice that most of the info is hidden from me. To get full access to the script, I'm going to hit the Authenticate button. Script Debugger will ask me for a full access username and password, and as soon as I enter them, it will show me all the things I would see if I were logged in as an admin. Now that I have full access, I can hit the Edit Script button to modify the script. As you can see, I already have a print script step in here, but I have it disabled. This ability to disable script steps is another feature of FileMaker Pro Advanced, and it's a nice alternative to deleting a step from a script if you're not sure whether you'll want it later or not. I'm going to enable this print step and then close the window and save the script. The script editor warns me that if I save while another script is running, it will halt my currently running script. If this script step stops here, I'm going to be stuck on this report layout, so I'm going to choose not to save it now. I'll hit the play button to let this script finish, and then I'll save my script. Since I've made a change, I'll turn on pause on error, close the script debugger window, and run the script one more time to make sure I didn't screw anything up with my change. When the print dialog appears, I'm going to click Cancel because I don't want to print out this time. As soon as I do that, Script Debugger comes up and tells me there was an error. The code is 1, and I know from experience that that represents the User Cancelled Action error. While it is technically an error, this is expected behavior, so I can safely ignore it in this instance. This concludes my series on using Script Debugger in FileMaker Pro Advanced. If you found these videos useful, be sure to check back in for my next series which will cover the Data Viewer tool.